Are you ready? It's time for... Ryan's Roses. Dear Ryan and the team, my husband recently joined a workout class and is suddenly very interested in grooming himself and exercising. We spent a lot of time together and now he's just busy all the time. And he's avoiding me. See, this is the thing, not knowing anything else really yet. That's from Heather and Chatsworth. Put her on. Here's the thing. It sucks. What sucks? It sucks that you're, you decide to like be a better you. You're going to start, you're going to eat cleaner, you're going to motivate yourself, you're going to work harder, you're going to do some exercising, you're going to look better, you're going to groom yourself, and it sucks that that is an indicator to cheating, right? Self-improvement indicates cheating? Come on. I don't like it. It's not necessarily it. that. It's like if it just comes out of nowhere, you know? like. But But you can, that's how these things start. Like, for me, when I start a, you know, I'm vegan except for when I have ribs and brisket and stuff. <laughs> but for Probably me, it's vegan, like, okay. okay, you know, my 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 waistline and my pants are snugger than I want. I'm uncomfortable with it, so I'm starting full speed. But yeah. it's like, why is that an indicator for something bad? Because it should be good. No, but you, like on the regular, that's part of who you are. You do. You like to stay in shape and you, you work. It's not like out of nowhere. That's like if you all of a but sudden. Even just, better that he's doing it out of nowhere because he wants to get better, maybe for his own wife. Heather, we need a we, good morning and thanks for coming on. I'm picking apart the self-improvement component to this all because I think it's great that somebody motivates himself to be a better them. But what other signs? There must be something else that's got you thinking about cheating, though. Well, yeah. I mean, we've been together for nine years and married for five, and he had, you know, the whole dad bod before that was even a thing. Um, And it's just that he's all of a sudden trying, like, getting in really good shape, and he's, like, trying out different looks, like, with his beard, and we right. never spend any time together anymore. Like at night, we used to watch TV together well, that, and then go okay, to bed. So to me, that's I, I don't mind the guys, you know, using a different. <sighs> what do you call that thing? Guard for guard. his beard. I don't mind he's using a different guard for his beard. I don't mind that he's working out. But if he's not seeing you're spending time, then that to me is a, a bigger issue than him wanting to be better. Him, right? Have you yeah. seen? Have you seen? Has there been any other trace of another person? Well, I, I, he just, he's spending a lot of time like on Instagram and I've noticed that he's like following like some women from his class and I asked him about him, like, who are these women? And he's like, oh, it's no big deal. Just like some people, I don't really know them, right. but Well, here's what yeah. we're going to do. Hold on for a second. We're going to come back okay. and we're going to call him and see what we can find out. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I, I'm feeling good about him wanting to be a better him. Let's see what happens. You're in the middle of Ryan's Roses. We are making the call for Ryan's Roses. So you really haven't missed anything yet if you're just getting here. Basically, we know that Heather's told us her husband doesn't spend much time with her, and he's fully focused on the gym and grooming. And she thinks that's a, an indicator that something's going on with somebody else. I think it's a stretch. But that's why we're all here. Because we don't know yet. Right. So, Heather, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then his name on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay, we're calling him now. Tanya's going to make the call. We're going to offer him some roses. Let's see who he is thinking about, who's top of mind, and then, of course, what he might put on the card that's attached to the roses. So be very quiet, Heather, until we tell him he's on the air, okay? Okay. Okay, good luck. Here we go. Hello. Hi, is this David? Yes. Hi, good morning, David. My name is Tanya. I'm from Stop and Smell the Roses. We're a new flower shop here in town, and I wanted to call and offer you a free dozen of our red roses. They're so, so beautiful. I don't need anything from you, just a uh, name of who you want to send them to and uh, maybe the address, and I'll get them to them by 1 p.m. today. Um, sure, you said they're free? Yes, I don't need any any credit card information. I would just need a name, a note, and uh, we'll get them out this afternoon. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I guess I'll just send them to my wife. Let's just okay. put... 
Okay, wait, let me get her name first. Sure. Okay, what's her name? Her name's Heather. Heather. All right, and yeah. what do you want to put on the note? Um, what day is it? This is with Happy Thursday. And then Love, David? Mm-hmm. That's so nice. And you want red roses, yeah? Yeah, red is great. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. David. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. My name is Ryan. Thank you for staying on with us for a second. Um, your wife, Heather, what? your wife Heather, is on the phone. She's asked us to reach out to you. Heather, would you say hello, please? Hi. So, David, she's asked us to reach out because she's concerned that you might be cheating. Let me tell you why. She has seen you take uh, real interest in working out and grooming yourself, which I have no problem with. And she also says that you don't make time for her. You're very, uh, you're limited on the amount of time that you're spending with her, more so than ever before. She thinks there's someone else. Can you tell her what's going on? Oh my god! Hey, you called. A... <laughs> no, I'm not cheating. I'm, babe. I've got to say, it just feels like you're like sort of down on everything. It feels like lately you're kind of negative, and I, I feel like I can't do anything right. I'm. I'm getting older, and I want to get in shape, uh, so I started this class, and it makes me feel better about my body, but honestly, babe, you're, like, on my case every time I go. It feels like you're nagging me. I'm not cheating. I swear to you, I'm just trying to have my own space, my own mental space at the gym, and honestly, I've started wondering if you are having an affair, honestly, because it feels like... Why else would you be asking me constantly about what's going on if you're not happy yourself? Well, nothing, I'm not, nothing seems to make you happy right now. That's not true. I mean, I am not, I'm definitely not cheating on you. And I am not like trying to be on your case all the time. But now let's not, let's not turn the tables here. Let's stay focused. All right. David, why is it that you're offering less time to spend with your wife? Is that a product of working out? No. I, I mean... What's going on there? I, it, honestly, I feel like I'm just... The time we spend together, I feel like you're just nagging me. I, I mean, I hate that it, it, I'm saying it like that, but it's just... You're constantly nagging me. Okay, and, and, Where and, and then now, Heather... W- why would what do you think that would mean? And nag's probably not a great word for productivity here, but what what do you think he means by nagging Heather? I think just me asking all the questions like about like his class and like why are you on Instagram and like why are you following all these women and I think that's probably where he is kind of taking that as nagging, but I mean, I, I, I think I might be being too hard on you, and I'm, I think I'm just projecting my insecurities onto you. Okay, so here's we we have insecurities, which means we have a lack of trust. So now, why is there a lack of trust? Why are it, what made you get to a place of second guessing your own husband? I think that's the question you both need to ask each other for each other, and then talk about because there's a reason why Heather. You're second guessing. There's a reason why you're insecure. There's a reason why you're not trusting. So why is that? And let's try and fill that void. We're going to let you go work on this together. Uh, David, Heather, thank you for reaching out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Back to Ryan's Roses. Heather and David. So uh, wait, can we, before we get back to that, can you mute your microphone when I'm making the call? It's always muted. No, you were like about to, you were like huffing and puffing or doing something when I was getting the note from Except David. for that one, yes, there was a point where I turned it on and I inhaled like that, about to speak. And I think that that, I don't think he heard it, but I heard it. I did hear that. I Sorry needed, I wanted to get the no. I wanted yes. to like ask but, more questions. And then I got like nervous. You made me have stage fright. Mm. Then we need to get past the stage fright. If I say, if I, I didn't even say it. I just went oh, like that. It should not give you stage fright. I got nervous. You threw me off my my game. No, your game was fine. The game was fine. Okay. The deal is this. David's working out, trying to be a better him. Heather thinks somebody else is in the picture. He perceives time with her as time that she nags him. She, quote, nags him because she's insecure about something. And there's not full trust. 
I mean, that's what this boiled down to. I don't think the guy's cheating, but I do think there must be some reason why she doesn't. They don't have trust. There's not yeah, trust. Yeah, but but it doesn't necessarily have to be in their relationship. Like her insecurities could come from things that happened in past relationships, things that happened to her in her childhood. Like well, people, that's when you have true. insecurities, it doesn't necessarily mean it's from your partner. It could be deep rooted. Yeah, it could be, could be your own scars, your own wounds from history. That's right. fair, and that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. You must that be seeing be- someone. That's good. He could where'd, be triggering. Where'd you learn that? That's that's good. Are you reading Thank a book? You. Um, I'm always reading a self help book, and I go to therapy weekly. <laughs> right. Well, it's all paying off. Thank you so Cause much. Because you're you're spreading the wealth of knowledge now here for free for us. But David could be triggering her insecurities, and so that's what she needs to be vocal about because he could be triggering those not knowing. Yes, and that's why we let them go immediately to talk it through, talk it yeah. down. All right. Yeah. So Kira or Kira actually it says right, Kira. What do you think? Yeah, it's Kira. Um, So, first of all, I feel like David totally dismissed her feelings, like, just the way he reacted. Yeah. Like, what? But I think he may not now. Like, I think there was some dismissal going on, but I think maybe this is, uh, we're shining the spotlight on that dismissiveness, and they need to focus on that, right? I mean, Tony makes a great point. Yeah, clearly they have a a communication problem. Um, I mean... She sounds really insecure, and I don't know that I would be able to date someone who's, you know, fitter but than this me. This could be because but... someone else burned her, oh. not him. Wait, did you hear she yeah, just said? Very true. What she said? You and I don't think date... I. I don't think I could date somebody, somebody that's thinner than me. Wait, is that what you said? I said fitter than me, but yep, yeah, yeah. I mean, fitter, fitter. That's too, that's so you have to win the fitness competition. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. What does that say? That's a st- hey. Take that to your therapist, Tanya, and find out. Yeah. What <laughs> Wow. I'd like to hear that. What's wrong with that? No, nothing's wrong at all. No, no, there's no judgment. Nothing wrong. We're just right, curious right. as to the why. It's just a why. Judgment free. Judgment never, free. Never zone. wrong. Just a why. Right. Yeah. It's the other W. Thank you for calling. Take the care. Other Bye. W. Right. There's two Ws. There's mm-hmm. the one we don't use, and then there's the one we really use.